How you doing, everybody? It's your boy, the Humble Hacker from Shot Town Chevron, and back with another video. And today, we're gonna be learning about how blind SQL injection works. This is a lot different from our previous labs. Here, we determine blind SQL injection from an abnormality in the page response. Meaning, does the page respond normally? Or would there be a pause in order to signify that our value is true or not? So without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, so let's get this started. And now let's take a look at what our lab says. This lab contains a blind SQL injection vulnerability. The application uses a tracking cookie for analytics and performs a SQL query containing the value of the submitted cookie. So right off the rip, getting our hint that this is where our vulnerability is. So the results of the SQL query are not returned and no error messages are displayed, but the application includes a welcome back message. So we need to keep our eyes out for that in the page if the query returns any rows. The database contains a different table called users with columns called username and password. You need to exploit the blind SQL injection vulnerability to find out the password of the administrator user. All right, so we have our lab up. We have our request. Let's go ahead and send this to the repeat. Ah. All right, we have a vulnerable parameter, which is the tracking cookie. So the first thing that we need to do is confirm the legitimacy of like of this uh, injection vulnerability point. So let's do this as a basic, a single quote, and single quote one equals single quote one. So we're returning, we basically just say, if it's true, it's true. All right, let's look at what we got. We have our welcome back that determines that we made a su successful injection point here. So we're gonna auto scroll for this, make sure that the, we uh, keep track of this thing here. All right, so now that we've done that, let's change this payload hither. We're gonna keep the and and get rid of, oh crap, the other stuff. So let's see if, let's check out the, the username, determine being the first letter of the username. So we simply have our and, our parenthesis, select A from the users table, limit one, meaning only getting, only want one, looking for one response and that's it. It's equal to the letter A the user that we're trying to look for, which is administrator. And I spelt limit wrong, you moron. There we go, fix that problem real quick. All right, so we just confirmed, first letter of the username is A. Okay, now let us go, we have now confirmed that the first uh, letter of the username is A. So let's tune this up a little bit. So, so select A again from users where the username equals administrator in that parentheses equals A. Okay. Okay, so like A from users where administrators equal A. Make sure we have our stuff correct. Okay. Oh, my bad, I'm thinking of this wrong. All right, we're looking for the password now on this joint. All right, so let's, let's fix this, let's fix this here. And let's take this uh, new payload here. 
I'm going to paste this in and break it down. Right. Select a from users where the administrator is the correct user and the length of the password is greater than one character. So we're looking for the password now because we need the password for the administrator. So, all right, now let's change this to two. So it is true, it is greater than three characters, greater than four characters, greater than eight characters. Let's go up to 10, okay? Go 13, oops, no. <laughs> go 14, uh, let's go 15. So it's greater than 16 characters, yep. Greater than 17 characters, yep. Greater than 18 characters, yep. Greater than 19 characters, Yes, sir. Greater than 20 characters. No. Okay, so we see here that our care that our uh, password here is greater than 20 characters. So let's discover that password. Let's uh, send this over to the intruder and tune this up. So here we're gonna use this new payload here. And let's break it down. All right, we're using something that's called substring. What this does is that it extracts like a single character from the password, and then we test it against a, a specific value. So the attack will cycle through each position and possible value, testing each one in turn. So for here, the password. So the uh, the first character uh, in like the, the, the position and the character uh, the character here. So we're, we're testing. Uh, okay, sorry, my brain just farted. We are checking the password here on the first position. This is where our character is, which is here. We're going to put this one here. Okay, select substring password. Okay, so this represents this. That's what I was trying to say, but I couldn't. I was like, I got lost in the sauce. All right, so let's uh, go over to our payload section. We're going to use this simple list, paste in some alphanumeric characters, and we're going to run. Oh, no, 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 no. Can't do that yet. Can't do that yet. Because it's blind SQL injection. How will we know that our stuff was working? Easy. We simply copy that right there, go back over to our intruder, and go to the settings, clear all this crappiola, paste that, and start that flapjack. And we're going to keep our eyes open for our response see which one and here we go all right so first character is a V so now that we have that let's go ahead and close this out discard go back over to our payload section nope sorry our positions change this to a two start our attack And we do this until we get all of our characters.
So how's everyone doing? Hey, here's, here's, a, here's a question. Who all saw that uh, Flash finale? Oh, God, that 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 made my that made my brain hurt. That was just such that was ugh. I don't have any words for that. That real that really except it hurt my feelings. That's right. No, it didn't hurt my feelings. It just it just really it just really it didn't it didn't fit right to me. It was just so dumb. So they bring back all of the speedsters uh that took entire seasons to beat and they get easily defeated by the power of friendship. I like I. What? I. It was it was such like a, it was such a. Inconvenient convenience, <laughs> if that makes any sense. It was like, well, why were you even there in the first place? You could have just stayed where you was at. You went over there like for you. Uh, they got called up for nothing, nothing, man. It was just, that is just ridiculous. I don't. I haven't seen a series finale that ridiculous and insane elsewhere. And there's no way to fix it because there's no. They ain't gonna do squat. Ending monologue, I guess, was okay. But overall, I was just like, what the, what the, what the hell am I watching? What is, what is, what is, what? What the hell is happening here? What is, like, what is going on? Alright. Again, what the, oh, oh, right. I totally forgot. Uh, Virtue can fly now? How? Where the hell did that come from? I. That was completely new. Wait, how does she defeat? <laughs> how does she? De the how does she defeat the whatever speaker she was fighting against? What she did it with the uh, with what the the Care Bear stare. Right. Is that what is that what she did? Or something? Oh no, I have feelings! Oh! The hell? That was the worst ending I've ever seen. And then they had dude like dabbing with his electrical lightning bolt to the new speedsters or whatever. It, uh, I was just like, come on, come on, man. Really? Really? Okay. I guess. Nothing they could do about it now. The entire uh, CW universe is done, right? It's all complete. They ain't doing no more. No more shows. I thought that was like something called... Uh, Star Girl or something like that. I was seriously gonna say My Little Pony like an idiot. <laughs> what was it? Yeah, I, was, I thought that was supposed to still be going on. I haven't watched it, but I, I thought that was like another one that was on C Dubs. I think yeah, it's time for the CW to take a break on making stuff. Just hit the pause button on that. We don't need no more. No, we don't. I'm gonna be probably getting on my Twitch soon to to game on it. I've been finding some cool games that I wanted to play, but I just haven't had the time to yet. But I will most definitely be getting up on that soon. Sweet Jesus, I hated that flash ending. Oh no, I'm still on it, but I'm just like, ah, oh, sweet. Ah, uh, sweet Havarte cheese. That was just. Yes, I, I guess I called the series finale of the Flash 
Havarti cheese. Which is actually pretty good, by the way. I could like to put it on the sandwich. Oh, we found it. We found our, our letter. What is it? Letter P? Put that P right here. Get rid of that here. Put on a 19 there, yeah? And five is that next position. Get rid of that. Then we go to the, the 20. Start the attack. Click on this. Clickety clack, clickety clack, clickety clack. Yakety yak, don't come back, Jack. We got our letter O. And I think that's it. I don't think there's going to be another one. So, password that we have so far is this. So let us turn our proxy off. Go back to the lab. Go to our account. No. Hit our login. And boom, bam. We are logged in as administrator. So that was the lab. Or we are simply using blind single injection with conditional responses so that was interesting took a while yes because it was tedious and that's pretty much how we would basically utilize blind single injection where this is this is pretty much like the only way we can get a response and yeah it the automation is going to be very tricky for this but this is why manual testing always works but that was a fun lab i enjoyed it i hope you did too i am shy Roro. you guys you have yourself a great old week peace